What's going on everybody? We have a lot of projects on the go with the boat. Today I'm gonna actually gonna start the bilge pump. Yes, I'm actually gonna put a bilge pump in our boat. So this is for the whole purpose of just in case if there's any water that gets taken on in the boat, uh, this way it's able to pump the water out of the boat. Uh, to be honest with you, every boat should have a bilge pump, but mainly also because there's been a couple of times now, actually one time that we went camping and we took in our boat with us and it stood there and it stayed on the dock overnight. I got really nervous because there was no bilge pump and I actually had no tarp, no cover for it. Yeah, so we got a cover now, which is awesome. Next thing to do is put into the bilge pump. Uh, bilge pump is in the boat. Uh, before we get there, so boat has no bilge pump. I'm starting from scratch. Uh, I am gonna have to drill a hole through the side of the hull to put a, what's it, what do they call it? A hull through? I'll just show you. So to put this fitting, okay, this fitting uh, uh, through the hull, so that way the pump can push the water through this, through the boat and out into the lake. Uh, so yeah, so I got that fitting, came in a kit. Yeah, so it came with the fitting, uh, what is it, six feet of hose and two stainless steel hose clamps, which is right there. Next, let me show you the pump that I'm actually gonna be using. I've got that off of Amazon, 1100 gallons per hour. That's a lot. Pump. This unit here is the pump and float switch all in one. This is what I kind of wanted. It's not small, but it's not big either. So there's that, here's that float. And then here's where the pump is, where it sucks the water. All right, so there's your switch right there. Uh, so you got auto, when you put it onto auto, then that means that when this float switch comes up to a certain level, it automatically triggers the pump and it turns it on. Or if you want to use manual, uh, this one, it's a momentary switch. So you press and hold it and it act and it trips the thing. This, so this is an all-in-one unit combined, which is nice. Uh, there is a fuse right here, resettable fuse. Let's show where I want to place this thing. So it's going to have to be in there on the floor and then what i'm going to have is i'm going to have that tube come up over here and shoot out to the side of the boat there are many ways to do this bilge pump installation um, now i'm not saying that i'm a professional again i am an enthusiast but i do do my research and this is how i see that this is going to work for my boat all right so let's start working i removed the entire panel over here just so that way i can have easier access to this section here uh, before I did so, uh, I marked off where my clearance is. So from here, this is where that pocket in the inside of that panel stops. Then I have this box that I can't do nothing of it. Uh, so the circle represents where I'm gonna drill the hole for the through haul device. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from this section here and then the top of this. <laughs> I'm going to be using uh, the Starbright marine silicone seal. Put a whole bunch of it around here, push it through. I'm going to put a whole bunch right in the hole, and then I'm going to put the locking nut right on top. All right, so inside here, I cleaned everything all up. Uh, that's how it sort of looked like before. Um, so that is the bottom of the bilge pump. Uh, what I did was just gunked it with that Starbright silicone underneath and just placed it there. So now I'm gonna wait for it to dry. Update for the fitting. I broke the fitting when I was putting it in. Not exactly happy about that, but it's kind of a good thing because then I would not have found out my issue. All right, so the kit that I bought was a three quarter inch kit. Uh, that's what the fitting was. That's what the hose is. Here's a problem. That <laughs> it's the wrong way. That's supposed to go inside the hole. This is the proper size. This is a uh, one and one eighth inch hose. All right, so this came in and so did the big hose. And then I got to test fit this piece to see if it's going to be, if it's going to fit or if I'm going to have to make the hole bigger. Um, yeah, so this time, I, like I said, I, I went with chrome. I think that's gonna look really nice and that's the bigger one all right let's go to the boat nope doesn't fit 
I'm gonna have to go a little bit bigger. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Great, right, so now I gotta clean this up and I'm gonna file the edges here, make it a little bit more smooth. All right, I did it, and <laughs> this time I didn't break it. So, put a bunch of silicone on the inside behind the nut and uh, just tightened it until I couldn't move it anymore. So the inside, I don't care, overflow with silicone, but on the other side, on the hall side, um, I'm gonna have to clean that up. It sound right, boy. All right, so for the power connection, I was gonna use this. I was gonna put like a buck connector on there and then run some cables into the fuse panel. But really, this is something important. Whenever you have more connections, you might have uh, the risk of failure goes up. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still keep this for another day, but I am going to run one full length from the fuse panel to here. Same thing with the ground. Um, that way, so it's protection, right? Like I said, this is a bilge pump. This needs to have uh, a secure connection with least amount of interruptions anywhere or buck connections. Again, like I said, the more connections you have, the more room for failure you, uh, you have. So I'm gonna run my new wire. All right, so let me see if I can explain this mess over here. All right, so starting on this side, this is the side that has a bilge pump switch and also the nav lights over here. This one is the new switch panel that I'm installing and with all its white. All right, this is the moment of truth. I have it all wired up, I have it plugged in. So let's turn the main power on. Oh, lights up green. <laughs> it works. That is running up through there, up along the transom there. So the hose comes up and over this area into this elbow piece through hole and out right here. All right, so this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna fill the back of the boat with water and see if the bilge pump turns on. So first thing I gotta do is make sure that uh, that is on correct and then ah, that is on. Okay, I have my garden hose and time to fill it up. Just might as well, I'm in here. Just clean. That we are done this project guys uh thank you so much in the last couple of months there's been a, a steady increase of subscribers i want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing and and listening um guys thank you so much stay safe and until the next time who knows maybe we'll see you out there <laughs>